I can't film until I find my chapstick. Oh, here we go. What do you say we continue to clean out the pantry and freezer? I have like 99 problems and bananas are all of them. So <laughs> let's pull out all of that bulk oatmeal and 99 pounds of bananas in my freezer and let's get cooking. And hit that thumbs up button also. Okay, good. Now let's cook. In an attempt to continue to clean out my freezer, I have all of this ground turkey that's been sitting in my freezer for a very, very long time. Should we see how long? Use <laughs> freeze by March of 2021. Wow, we are coming up on a year. I got all these on clearance. This one was May of 2021. And here's a funny secret. I actually don't like ground turkey that much. I find it very dry, but a great application is taco meat. And because I have some salad ingredients in my fridge and taco meat is so versatile that you can put it in a burrito, you can make a taco salad, which is what we are doing with it. And then I'll have some leftovers to take me through the weekend. You can do nachos. You can do actual tacos using this. This is, again, a clearance, just taco seasoning packet. Also, I'm just trying to use up stuff I have, right? I have this little guacamole packet. We're gonna throw that in because why not? And I also have this like taco chorizo seasoning mix. We're just gonna dump it all in and hope for the best. In total, I have five pounds of ground turkey that we are cooking up right now. Tacos for everyone. Haley, do you want to invite friends over and feed them tacos? Okay, this one is 99% lean, so you know she's gonna be dry. Ugh, make sure you take that thing out for roast. Ah, it's popping on me. Uh, dry one is definitely done. So we're gonna add, no, we're gonna. I am adding this that I can't open. What's the matter with these scissors? Okay, one packet of this one. Does it say a pound? One pound. And a quarter cup of this big, big guy. And like two cups of water. And I'm still waiting on this one. Ooh, I think I'm gonna make no big cookies. All right, two cups of water there. This one's almost done. In an effort to use up all of the oats, we're making no bake cookies. So in my saucepan, I have butter, milk, sugar, and cocoa powder, which I will bring to a boil, and I will see you at that point. I have my mixture that came to a full rolling boil for one minute. Now I will add three more ingredients. What is this? Two thirds of a cup of peanut butter. I like creamy, personally. If you're a psycho, you could use crunchy, but I don't know why you would do that. I'm a, a teaspoon of vanilla, and you know how I feel about vanilla? It's uh, close. And three cups of quick oats, I think are the best ones to do here. Blop. Some parchment paper with a cookie sheet, because we're gonna scoop right onto here and let them cool. I'm just probably gonna stick it in my blast chiller, AKA the snow pile in the backyard. I think you might need more oats. <gasps> no, are you serious? I can never tell like how liquidy these should be or not be. It feels pretty liquidy to me. I'm just gonna go with the recipe here instead of altering it and we're just gonna see what we see. That's the plan. That looks like a good snow pile. See you later. <gasps> Do you want to tell me how it is? Tyler said it was different. They're a different color. My cocoa powder is a different brand. Your cocoa powder, okay, okay. Listen, they're good. Don't don't you butt me. They're not the same. You like them thicker? No, I think it's the cocoa powder. You think the cocoa powder is weird? You got some spare oats and peanut butter and cocoa and other stuff in your pantry? And, and all of the ingredients? <laughs> Go for it. Don't forget to clean out the stuff in your refrigerator as well. And for dinner tonight, I just so happen to have 
a Green Chef meal. Thank you to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. What is Green Chef, you ask? Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company. They provide options for a variety of lifestyles and dietary needs, including, but not limited, to keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, fast and fit, and Mediterranean for those that want a little more balance. The ingredients come pre-measured, pre-portioned, and mostly prepped. Look at this. I'm not gonna have to chop any veggies. Listen, Green Chef makes cooking easy with options that fit around your lifestyle. I personally have found that the boxes are super, super fast, like from box to plating, like what I'm doing right now, in 30 minutes, like maximum 30 minutes. Whoo! Look at that steam. If you wanna try out Green Chef for yourself, all you have to do is go to greenchef.us and use the code FRUGALFITMOM130 for $130 off plus free shipping off your first box. It is the first link down in the doobly-doo. Holy moly, this is a ton of food. Greenchef.us, use the code FRUGALFITMOM130 to get that $130 off plus free shipping off of your first box. First link down in the doobly-doo to save that $130 plus free shipping. Thank you, Green Chef. Let's go make some other goodies. I haven't made peanut butter bars, like the sweet, delicious ones in so long, I can't even remember when. And also, I needed to get rid of one of these because I have multiples that are open, so ha! <laughs> Here are the measurements for the peanut butter bars. Three quarters of a cup of peanut butter, a half a cup of honey, It totally worked. I thought that was gonna be stuck. One tisp of vanilla, which I will eyeball, which is about like that. And mix vigorously. Are we thinking the Danish dough whisk is a good idea or a bad idea? What are we thinking here? It's feeling okay. I'm a little worried when we add these dry ingredients. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Wooden spoon it is. You know you're a grown up when you have a favorite wooden spoon. The one that doesn't break when you chase your kids with it. That's a joke. Okay, last two ingredients. I have three quarters of a cup of oats and three quarters of a cup of dry milk powder. Bloop. Get your muscles up in here. At this point, once these are mixed, it is time to form into balls. There is one more ingredient that you can add. It's an option. You don't have to do it but if you want the option, you can do it. You can do either raisins or chocolate chips. And I'm telling you what, I am feeling some chocolate chips today. It just feels like the right thing to do. And by the way, this smells like peanut butter cups, like Reese's peanut butter cups. Chocolate it is. Nestle to Laos. Oh, those are old. It'll be okay. Okay. Just a little sprinkly sprinkle. This is dry, holy moly. Get Should I just do it? I'll be back when I'm done looking in. I really wasn't sure what I was getting. Between the high waves on the sea, waiting for something to get to me. I wasn't sure what I was hoping for, you see. But you act like January 16th and we are out of bread and I really don't feel like going to the grocery store for the next couple days so instead we will be making bread and Haley was very excited when I told her about it you just got really excited well, your bread is so yummy <laughs> so I have out my flour right here it's just all-purpose flour this is the Bosch universal mixer it is super strong can handle large quantities of dough which is great because I am making four loaves of bread today I got this for my wedding and they can be hard to find online sometimes, but if I can find one, I will link it below because people always ask me. Comes with a bunch of attachments. I'm using the dough whisk today. Uh, they also have whisks. Um, I just got these cookie paddles for my birthday and then it has a lid, 
like this so it doesn't get all messy. This recipe I will leave linked down below. I have made it on the channel before. I think a fully dedicated video, which I will also leave for your convenience. Okay, and here I have five cups of water, a half a cup of sugar. I had like a cane sugar, that's why it's brown and four tablespoons of yeast. So this is gonna sit for about five minutes and we'll come back and add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, my yeast is definitely awake. So it is time to add my flour. The full recipe is 10 to 12 cups, but I like to start with five, kind of see what it's looking like and then add the rest as it spins. So there's not really a direct measurement, which is why I'm not being super specific about what I'm doing. It's more about what it looks like the texture of the dough. So that's like about five. We have a quarter cup of oil. You could use butter, you could use coconut oil, doesn't matter, whatever one you want. Four teaspoons of salt. I'm using this, this one right here. If I was using wheat flour, I would also add extra gluten, but since I'm not, I won't. And the lid goes on and we will mix and then slowly add the rest of the flour. It is Sunday morning, so I thought I would make pancakes. I haven't made homemade pancakes in a long time because I've had the boxes, but homemade pancakes are infinitely better. These are three, right? Three eggs. I have two and a half cups of milk right here. Three tablespoons of sugar. This is not a tablespoon, but we're just gonna guess a little bit. <laughs> I like pancakes because you just throw everything in a bowl, mix it, and you're done. Three cups of flour. You could use whole wheat. I'm using all purpose. One tablespoon of baking powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna kind of guess a little bit. And about six tablespoons of an oil or butter, whatever. And that's it. You could, of course, add food coloring. If it's like Valentine's Day, you want them to be pink. St. Patrick's Day, you want them to be green. Give it a whisk. Keep it on. making the coconut something chocolate something <laughs> uh, chocolate coconut cashew energy bars that I made out of this book in a previous video they were super good and I have some products I wanted to use up and they're really really easy so in my food processor here come all the ingredients some shredded coconut cashews and salted almonds the reason I did the, oh, the reason I did the salted almonds is when I made them last time, I didn't personally feel like there was enough salt in the dish. So we're just, we're tweaking a little today. So I have a third of a cup of uh, cocoa powder, two cups of pitted dates. I did go through and pit all those already. Recipe calls for a quarter cup, no, a quarter cup of salt. <laughs> a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna go a little bit more than that, just like a shy half a teaspoon of salt, just cause personally, not enough salt for me and coconut oil. Is this a tablespoon? I think this is a tablespoon. Okay, two tablespoons of coconut oil that I melted in the microwave because it's cold where I live and the coconut oil solidifies all the time. Okay, lid on and let her rip. <laughs> now that I have steam coming out of the food processor, <laughs> that is what it looks like. Pour it into an eight by eight glass dish. And that is literally all it is. It's so easy. I kind of wonder why I don't do it more often. Oh, right, lazy, that's why. The instructions say to grease your pan or use parchment paper, but I like to live dangerously. Danger is my middle name. I'm supposed to pat that down and refrigerate it for 30 minutes. And that is literally it. And when I made these last time, we just thought they were so good and hearty, like the chocolate flavor and the date flavor is just enough to be satisfied, but because the bulk of it is the nuts and the coconut, 
there you don't have to eat very many you can, you can literally just eat one and be like yeah I am satisfied. It was so easy. I didn't even record me cooking it. So this is a box of this. I've had this big one from Costco in my pantry with one packet left for at least a month. Ha ha ha, no more. Finished those up, got those out of the pantry. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Over here, ignore the dirty stove. This is real life. I cooked up the ham that I had purchased so I can get the ham bone out and make red beans and rice. You just stick it in the oven for two hours. That's basically it. I am boiling up my cauliflower. We like it this way as opposed to roasted. I know, we're weird. And I had this salad, salad kit in my fridge, so I'm just gonna cuddle these open, mix these up. So we've got salad, ham, cauliflower, and uh, the biscuits. I guess I should take that to recycling. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the morning. In an effort to clean everything out and use what I have, ignore that, that's a different video. I have a sick patient over here. Hello. <laughs> I did a video, I swear a year ago now, on a Daily Harvest smoothies versus homemade and I was like, they're way cheaper to make them by yourself. But a bunch of people clicked on this uh, link for Daily Harvest if they wanted to try it anyway, and I got a bunch of referral credits, so I have some of the shakes. I need to get them out of my freezer because they're just sitting there. Haley just had foot surgery, and I'm trying to get her some like healthy, delicious, whatever. So we're doing this passion fruit plus pineapple smoothie, but we're gonna tweak it because I also have some protein powder that I'm trying to get rid of, and I think we need to up her protein content a little bit to help stimulate the healing process. I don't really know if that's a thing, but we're gonna just pretend it's a thing. <laughs> I'm up, we'll just mix this in the blender. If you're grossed out easily, don't look at this. Look how gnarly <laughs> those stitches are. Oh my gosh. She was okay with the tape on, but now she's like. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay, what is happening here? What? It's like frozen into a big chunk. One scoop of the protein powder, and I did add some extra water um, to give it room to move. <laughs> wow! It's filling this entire. Oh my gosh! It's filling the whole dang cup. It's because I did the big blender, and it like puts all this air in it. It doesn't even weigh very much. Sorry, Do you want a spoon? I, I didn't order a large Sonic. <laughs> it tastes good. Good. Do you want some too? He just needs some attention because wow. I'm stealing it. Yeah. If you remember the 100 pounds of bananas that my husband purchased for a mere $10, hook me up with a thumbs up on this video. Today we are going to attempt to get rid of some of those bananas. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm ready. So I have six bananas in this bowl that I mushed up with a pastry blender to make a, what I like to call banana juice. That doesn't sound very appetizing, but you know, it's banana mash. And I am making my banana bread that is so good that you will win friends and influence people. If you have not tried this recipe, I request you do so. I'm doubling this today, so I have two sticks of soft butter. The recipe I'll leave below is just for one loaf, but listen, in my family, this is what happens. I make one loaf and they eat it all in, what do you think, Dave, 20 minutes? Yeah. If I make two loaves, we will have one for today and one for tomorrow. Or maybe one for this morning and one for tonight, I don't know. But either way, both loaves will be gone by tomorrow night. So this banana bread recipe is basically cream, butter, and sugar together like you're making cookies which means you know it's gonna be delicious. This is not a diet bread, in case you were wondering. This is full, real sugar, full, real butter, full deliciousness. Two cups of sugar, two sticks of butter, cream until combined. Next up is four eggs, and as much vanilla as your heart desires, because only cavemen measure vanilla. That looks pretty good. Mix it in. Now are all of our dry ingredients. So I'm gonna do four cups of flour. Remember, I'm doubling this, so this is two full loaves of banana bread. People always ask me where I got these large storage containers. These are very old. These are like 30 years old. They are called Lustroware. Sometimes I can find them on Amazon and sometimes not. So if I can find them online, I'll link them below. 
but the odds are not good. Okay, one teaspoon of salt. There. Two mm. teaspoons of baking soda, not powder. Those are different. All my dry ingredients are in, so I'm gonna mix one more time, and then we will add the banana. Now I'm gonna add in my six mashed bananas. If you're doing one batch, it's only three bananas. So in that goes, and at this point, you could also add nuts if you are so inclined. If you are crazy, you can also add chocolate chips. I don't like to do that because I find that just the banana bread itself is sweet enough that it doesn't need the chocolate chips. I feel like it distracts from the flavor of the bread, but my family really likes the chocolate chips. And listen, I do what I want, so I'm not gonna put in chocolate chips today. Mix again. Time to put this in our bread pans. I have these long skinny ones. These are from Ikea, but I've also found them on Amazon. They are approximately the exact same size as a standard loaf pan. I just like these better because I feel like they cook more evenly. And if you're gonna cut slices and put them into sandwich baggies, they fit better. It's a win-win-win all around. Okay, here comes the trickiest part of the whole thing. Can I put the batter into these two pans evenly without having to fix it? Here we go. These go into a 350 degree oven for 45 to 60 minutes, depending on your oven. He's making sure his fingers are out of the way. I showed him how to do it. All right, well, I'm leaving, so don't cut off your finger. Quick reminder that I will have all the recipes down below in the description box. You just have to click that see more button. And of course, if you wanna save a whole bunch of money on Green Chef, first link in the doobly-doo below as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you are also doing a great job at cleaning out your pantries and freezers and refrigerators here in 2022. I'll see you next time. Bye. Ha ha! Ah! Oh, shoot. How's my angle? Is my head cut off? And, and my head's cut off! Just a little bit. Just a teeny bit. <gasps> Lights! Camera! Rolling? Who does the rolling? Oh, it's from Singing in the Rain. Yeah! yeah. Rolling! <laughs> I don't know why it's focusing on my elbow. I don't know. It's... That's <laughs> the camera has a mind of its own. <laughs> I was gonna make no-bake cookies and I opened up my cookbooks, find the recipe, cause I can't remember the measurements off the top of my head. But I found peanut butter bars and I'm like, oh, hot dang. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. <laughs> Why do my arms look so freaking long? <laughs> it doesn't look that appetizing. I have some cashews Do I look blurry? Do I look blurry? You know, I can eyeball level a picture on the wall really, really well, but I cannot eyeball the volume in bread pans. Mom, it's scary how well you are at leveling with pictures. It's a really valuable skill to have. That's the kind of skill that can like make you a millionaire, man. Do it with the cookies, right? Like, like that? Yeah. Why is that funny? Andrew, you're weird sometimes. Maybe.